Hey, it's Sophie Chan, and this is another one of my first impression videos. And this one is The Silver Guardian Season 2. Okay, so I had said in my spring video, which if you haven't watched, definitely, because I'm going to be watching a lot of anime this season, that if they're bringing back Season 2, I want more details, more stuff to really explain more of this anime, and, like, get down to the bottom of a few things. <sighs> First three episodes, guys. First three. And it see, It seems like it's done almost a 180. Where it's, like, not following even the beginning of the series at all. Like, our main character went into the phone and I thought he was trapped in there. Oh, we gotta log out. Okay. Uh, we're finding more more characters that, like, spend a lot of money. Cool. We find out kind of more about Buster items and that they're more special than just having a weapon. Um, we find out that the, some of the, one of the villains that was in part of the first season is training now. Like, training the newer players. What? You wanted to kill... Our main character. Why are you training now? Um, we find out that the lady in the carriage is weird. And that she she did something to the poor guy. I'm not I'm not gonna talk about that episode. Or what happened. You can tell me in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. But it seems like this anime has just done a 180. Like, try, trying to explain, but trying to get you to understand. I don't know what's happening. I get the whole thing of the more money you spend in this thing, the, um, the higher your standing is and the better of a character you are. I get that there are two keepers that a lot of people are rating these uh, tomb graves and are taking over as their guardians and I'm getting that there are people that are guardians and of course our guy is still looking for Ray Riku an adorable subplot but like he's fighting more with his buster item which is his scarf and it's not like he's an OP character but his scarf can do like 50,000 different things Okay, and we don't even get to see his little dragon person anymore, or his familiar, I think it is. She's just in his phone now. But yet, when we see another familiar, he's out, it's out and about. Okay, and we don't get any backstory on, like, what happened in the Coliseum in the first one, like... He won it, so what happened next? Well, he went into training. How? How did he get contact with someone to do beginner training? Or what's already happening in this world that, like, a lot of people are going into it already with a lot of money and, like, just just defeating it super fast? And why why is the game technically so popular when you have to, like, indulge way too much money into it? We have the whole controversy right now in our world about loot boxes and if they're gambling or not. And people not wanting to spend money on games that don't give you certain things or that don't really help you in the game. So what's up with this one where it's all money oriented and how did people go, yep, I'm cool with that. <sighs> so the questions are actually building more after these these episodes um, because our guy is still once again looking for Ray Riku but he can escape the game um, but he's trying to build an alliance uh, there are more people that are trying to fight him. I, I don't know I don't know this anime literally is trying to solve some of the problems of the first season Horribly. I'm gonna keep watching it because I want him to get Ray Riku. 
but this anime makes me think I should just forget about it and move on with my life and journey on to another anime. I didn't think it would change as much as it did. But okay. They kept also, they kept the opening of last season and I was like, okay, I can't blame them. But they changed the ending then too. And like, I get it. But I like the ending of the first anime. By the way, his cat's gone. I like animals and anime. And he was kind of attached to his cat. And the cat was in the game thing in the beginning. Why is the cat not there now? Like, I get it, like, animals can't. But, come on. So, so far, I'm going to do a wait and see how good this is. If it maybe explains more after a couple more episodes, cool, great, give me more details. Don't, don't just bleh and expect me to sort through it and go, this is reasonable detail and this is okay. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like, leave it in the comment section below. What do you think so far of season two? Are you like me, like, uh, or are you like, Fates is cool? <laughs> definitely tell me in the comment section below. And definitely, definitely don't forget to subscribe. I do my best to upload from Monday to Friday, uh, either the newer animes or something different. And if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, the links are down below. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful, wonderful day. Wolfie Chun, out. Bye.